It is something you likely haven't heard about unless you or someone you know recently gave birth. Delayed cord clamping. More hospitals are now waiting to cut the cord, particularly in preemies who need the extra support. Ursula Perry shows us why a three minute delay for all newborns may be a benefit. How many are they? Count them. Everyone looks forward to the cuddles and reading, especially big sis Jaslyn. It's a moment that mom, Patty, wasn't sure she'd ever be able to experience, though. Jaslyn was born at 27 weeks at two pounds. She did have a grade four bilateral brain bleed. Jazzy is doing well now, due in part to the efforts made by doctors in the very first minutes of her life. They performed what is called delayed cord clamping. Usually a uh, clamp is applied that uh, truncates the blood flow between mother and baby and delayed cord clamping just implies that we wait a little. It has a lot of benefit for the baby. They had told us that, you know, with the delayed cord clamping, she would be, she would receive that extra oxygen in her blood to help with her brain. The extra time allowed Jaslyn's blood pressure to stabilize, as well as increased levels of iron and brain myelin. We believe that some of the benefits of her brain be, being able to recover were probably helped by waiting that minute. You really don't think about all this stuff until you're actually given the situation. Fortunately, the doctor was prepared for the situation. He's one of the leading advocates of delayed cord clamping in the country. I would say that we're the first um, hospital that has embraced this as standard of care and taken it to the next level. We'd like to wait for two to three minutes for all babies if possible. And for Patty, that's the right call. When you're in a tough situation, all you think about is your child and you just want the best for them. The World Health Organization is recommending a one minute delay before clamping the cord. And parents, you would have to be your own advocate in this case. Expected parents are being asked to tell the doctor what it is you expect. Research shows though, if this becomes the norm, 100,000 premature babies could be saved next year. Ursula Perry, KSAT 12 News.